Well, good morning, good morning. It good morning. is our final day in Wrocław, and today is a travel day. We're heading to Poznan, and yep. we're taking the train. Yeah, it's the first time that we've actually gonna like take the train on this particular mm -hmm. trip in Europe. Like we've just been taking buses, a lot of Flixi bus, and what was it? The Pol Flix bus. What was the one that we took and last Polski time? Bus. Polski bus. Polski bus. They're both very budget, but yeah. I mean, it does the job. I'm so I'm so bad with names. Anyways, yeah. really excited to take a train again. That it is our preferred method of transportation. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But first, we need food. We've already started packing up the apartment. Um, but our train departs at noon and there's yep. a really good place downstairs. They do like smoothies, yes. fresh juices and salads. So we're gonna go grab a bite and yeah, then we'll start traveling. Awesome. We are on the streets of Wrocław. Yeah, it is a Saturday morning and it's pretty quiet. <laughs> Normally this area is quite busy. So, update, we made it to Frankie's, but apparently it's a little weird to order a salad at like 9.30, 10 in the morning, so we were only able to get juice. So, Sam is drinking some summer vibes. Yeah, it's got watermelon, strawberries, it's got like some mint, it's really refreshing. Nice. But I was looking forward to food, so this is a little disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> he does look disappointed. And I got the Jungle Joy, which apparently has mango, maracuya, pomegranate, and lots of tropical fruits. So cheers! Starting the morning with juice. So when in doubt, we always head to the milk bar. Nothing else was open, like we yeah. couldn't find any other Tried breakfast. to pop into a little bakery, because I guess we're running a little behind. So anyways, finally got our food. Yes. And surprise, surprise, we're getting pierogi again. So I think that is enough food for the journey. We had our juice at Frankie's and then we popped over to the milk bar. Yeah. We had some pierogi and yeah. <laughs> what else, right? <laughs> what else? One in Poland. <laughs> so yeah, now we're just heading back to the apartment. We have to pack up and I forgot to message our Airbnb host to let him know when we're checking out. So hopefully yeah. he hasn't showed up yet. We're a little behind. <laughs> so you know what's the worst part about travel in Europe? A lot of these old historic buildings don't have elevators and guess what we're staying on the fifth floor maybe even sixth floor we have an uncanny ability to select oh. the top oh. floor of every oh. apartment building we always go to yeah so when we checked in like the guy who met us he was really into working out so he was like no worries and he took yeah. both of our suitcases and like these are massive yeah but um <laughs> he's not here to meet us when we're checking out so we're gonna have to deal with the luggage ourselves and we're not so much into working out <laughs> let's go so it begins Yeah, Poznan and then Gdansk and then maybe one more. So yeah, it's just one of those situations where we just really liked it in Poland, but also too, we had a really, really busy schedule for a while. We were in like yeah. Vegas and South Africa, and then we were in Germany and then we were in Kyrgyzstan. And so we've been kind of craving some slower travel. Just staying in one yeah. country, it's been good. And, and, and you know what, it's so affordable as it well. Is. That's another reason. Yeah, that's another like, reason too. And yeah, it's just been great. We've been on our own schedule now for a while and we've been really enjoying that.
made it. Hello from the train station. Made it. Made it. It was a very short journey, but it was a sardine session. Oh my gosh, train. yes. It was one of those compartments with eight people eight plus people. luggage. And barely enough room to fit our luggage. We're lucky that none of the other passengers on that trip had big bags like us. Otherwise, yeah. I we would end up it. I don't know what would happen. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, I, I like taking the train, but that was that was not comfortable. Like, I didn't even have room for my feet to stretch <laughs> out or anything. Like, oh, my, my one foot, this other lady had a bag in my one. Look, look down here. My one what? foot was like what? this the whole Your time. Your socks are inside out. <laughs> my socks are inside out. It's just, Anyways, it's, we, we have to go find the tram. <laughs> Let's go find the tram. Let's go find the tram. So what's our first meal in Paul's then? Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> that, that was the closest place to our apartment. Yeah. It looked really good. It's hopping. They've had fake gunfights. The waitresses are decked out in some pretty fancy gear. They have like a fake little gun, a, a plastic gun on and their you know side. What? It's raining outside right now, so we just wanted to find the closest place yes. we could. And this is literally like downstairs right yeah. next to our apartment. Yeah. And you know what? Mexican is a go-to food for us when we're hungry, so. <laughs> So inauthentic, but oh well. First of the meal has arrived. Big mug of beer. But I feel I deserve it. That was a Why do you deserve it, Sam? Why do you that deserve was a it? pretty tight train ride, and then we got so epically lost trying to find our tram. It seems to be the story of our adventures in the world. Every time we arrive at the train station, we always go the wrong direction, catch the tram, and then we go in another wrong direction. Finally, we have to get information, and then we end up backtracking. <laughs> that should be our first. First step, always go to information, less I, I wandering. Guess we just falsely assume we'd be able to figure it out quickly. Yeah. We haven't done a great job of that. Anyways. Cheers to you. Day. Well, well. Chimichanga. Sam's having the chimichanga. Yeah. Looks good. It does look good. I'm going to add some avocado to that. Whoa, ho, ho. Oh, oh, oh. Swim. How is it? I'm so hungry. I'm going to devour it. And for me, I got the chicken burrito. Okay, so we are back in the apartment now, getting ready to, you know, just have a little nap, chill out, ready, maybe some Netflix. I'm ready for Netflix. <laughs> after a lot, after whatever we do, like a travel day. That's what, that's how I like to Yeah, you know what? Even if we don't travel very far, it's still exhausting. Like it's hauling your luggage around. Because of the train ride being crammed and then yeah. something. We got super lost at the station. <laughs> but anyways, here's a Let's a do a tour, a apartment tour. Room tour. So we have a nice big kitchen. kitchen. Come check this out. And if we move into here, I'll show you the bathroom. It's massive. This is a tub. This is huge for here. <laughs> I can't remember the last time we had a tub. I know, I know, this is really big. And then just over here we have our bedroom. And I really like the bedroom. As you can see, we haven't even unpacked. Like food was our first priority. Yeah. And now I'm stuffed, I'm tired, and we're gonna call this bed. Yeah, we're gonna call this an couch. episode. We'll have food videos and hopefully a city guide coming for you soon. Ta-ta!